Hi all, Peter here. I thought it might be interesting for some of you who've never uh, witnessed CNC to, to uh, watch how they work. And I'm pretty new to the world. I, um, I've had this machine about a year and we're gonna be doing some firsts here. First of all, video for me is a new thing and cutting speakers is a new thing too. I've done other things on this machine, but uh, no speakers yet. So I'm gonna be cutting a set of of uh, Danny's XLS models, and I'll be cutting four cabinets out of this one sheet. And to get started, uh, there's the tooling that we'll use. That's a 45 degree V cutter, a 3 8 compression cutter, a spiral cutter, and a 3 8 straight cutting bit. And you'll see how those come into play later. When I get to start, I'm gonna shoot it on a tripod and it will be really noisy. So I'll probably do uh, a music overlay or something because it's not fun to listen to. I wear earmuffs when I'm doing it. So, And then this is the uh, computer setup and that's the spindle of the CNC right there. Back up a little bit. And this shows you what's going to be cut. Now that's not positioned like it will be, but I got to do that setup yet. So. Uh, Anyway, I'll leave this off here, get it on a tripod, and we'll get
you might be wondering why all those slots and recessed areas are in there. And I forgot to mention, this is using rabbited construction, which is a little different than the original, but makes for a stronger and easier to assemble box in the long haul. And all that work that didn't go through the panel is now done and we'll move on to all the areas that will go all the way through the panel. Except they won't go all the way through the panel. I'm going to be using something called onion skinning, which is all the way through with the exception of the last ten thousandths of an inch. It holds everything together and, and uh, keeps the vacuum that's holding that panel down from bleeding off. So it holds it down tight and makes everything a little more accurate plus it doesn't mess up the spoil board which I'll cover a little bit later on. So we'll move on to cutting everything out at this point. Alrighty, back to handheld now. There you can kind of see everything more defined. And then the onion skinning, I'm going to pop a piece off here and you can kind of see how that works. Yeah, I might be able to do it with one hand. Or maybe not. Anyway, like I said, there's a 10,000 piece, there we go. So that just breaks off. That's got a really thin edge right there, and I just trimmed that off of the hand router. I could cut all the way through, but then I get into my spoil board. In fact, you can see where I, that was actually a mistake, that uh, I cut too deep, I had material thickness set wrong. And it just makes the whole thing last a little longer if I do that, and there you can kind of see how that edge is, a really easy thing to take off. And uh, these are sides, and I marked them top so that um, you could identify the top. Uh, the brace is not in the center. It's in the center from front to rear, but it's not in the center from top to bottom. So I thought it might be easier to uh, 
have those identified. So that's it for now. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take these all out and, and trim them, and then uh, later I'll do a video on assembly. See ya.